In this presentation, we're going to look at question 2b here. Uh, use Laplace transforms to solve the differential, or sorry, the integral equation. So it's uh, the second one here. And if you want to watch this in full screen mode, that might be an idea. So this one here, uh, y of t is equal to 1 plus t minus 4 times this integral here. Now this is actually what they call a convolution of t and y, okay? So uh, I'll explain it as I go. Essentially it's just what they call a convolution of, and it sort of pops up quite a lot in these Laplace transform questions. So um, there we have it there. So it is 4 times t, this asterisk symbol uh, which is not multiplication, it's just convolution, times y of t is how we, we might rewrite that. Okay. Now, um, essentially what we have to do is solve for y of t here. Okay. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get the Laplace transform of both sides. So first off, the Laplace transform of y of t Okay, we'll actually denote that capital Y of S. I'm just going to call that Y of S from now on. Um, that's just the sort of bit of notation. Uh, so, uh, Y of S is the Laplace of transform of 1 plus the Laplace transform of T. And that's actually straightforward enough. Minus uh, 4 times the Laplace transform of t, the convolution of t and y of t. Okay. Now, I'll just sort of see if I'm in shot there. Now, the thing about convolution, the Laplace transform of a convolution is that the answer is the, the, the product of the Laplace transform of the component parts. So I'll actually just uh, confirm that here. So if we have a of t uh, convoluted the convolution of a of t and b of t, capital A, capital B there, sh probably should be some lowercase. Okay. The, uh, the, the, that will work out to be a of s, so the Laplace transform, or the Laplace transform of a on its own, multiplied by the Laplace transform of b of s, or, or b of t, the Laplace transform there, b of s, okay. So that's how the convolution works in terms of Laplace transform. So it's actually just the same. Essentially, if you spot that, that if you have a, a term that's essentially the convolution of, convolution of two terms, the Laplace transform of the entire convolution works out to be the Laplace transforms of the individual components uh, uh, multiplied out. That's it, really. So essentially, what I'm going to do is rewrite this bit up here. I'm going to solve one over s. Sorry, y of s, the Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s, the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared, now that those are just coming from tables, minus 4 times the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared again, and the Laplace transform of y of t, we are stating that to be y of s. Okay, so essentially what I have here now is an expression we have to start f solve y of s, but we have pretty much the building blocks now done. Uh, this part here, 1 over s, I'm just going to rewrite this as uh, s squared over s over s squared. Let's see here, just s over s squared, actually just s over s squared plus 1 over s squared, just to sort of show why this becomes s plus 1 over s squared. So y of s equals s plus 1 over s squared minus 4 um, y s over s squared okay uh, just to make life easy what I'm going to do here is call this s squared over s squared Cross multiply essentially, okay, just to sort of simplify the expression. And now what I'm going to do is just like get rid of all those denominators and let the numerators equal to each other. So what I have here is s squared times y of s, 
I'm going to go in baby steps here for a while as well. S plus 1 minus 4y of s. Okay. S squared. Uh, I'm going to bring across this expression here to the other side. So what I have here is s squared plus 4 times y of s. Uh, you can see it starting to uh, come apart now very neatly. Divide both sides by s squared plus 4 and I have y of s equals s um, plus 1 over s squared plus 4 uh, you might notice now that this here looks like we could do something with that in terms of the Laplace transform for cosine and Laplace transform for sine. So what I'm going to do here is actually let's just check the tables here and see what we have. Go back there where they think they're at the end. Well, they're not on this. So uh, yeah, essentially that the Laplace transform of uh, cosine and the Laplace transform of sine. Essentially what I'm going to do here is just actually leave it as this. So this is s over s squared plus 4 plus 1 over s squared plus 4. I'm actually just going to sort of uh, slightly rewrite this as 1 half times 2. Okay, So we have it in the form a, a over s squared plus a squared. Uh, that means that y of t is cos of 2t, when we just get the inverse Laplace transforms, plus half of sine 2t. Okay, uh, that, that is when we get the inverse Laplace transforms. So that is the solution. Uh, I think I'm, just in case I made a mistake at the end, don't, don't worry about it. The key thing here was actually the convolution. I don't have the Laplace transform tables in front of me, so I might have made a little quick error there at the end. But I think you get the overall idea. So that is solving integral equations with Laplace transforms.